Hi everyone, welcome to Mini Maker's instructional videos. Today I'll be showing you how to make a solar system kit. So first for our solar system kit, you are going to want to open up your bag and lay out all your pieces. For this kit, you should have a battery pack, a small baggie with different parts, double-sided tape, sandpaper, your motor, and two wooden pieces. First, pop out all your pieces as you will need them. So for step one, you will need these four pieces. And before you put them together, make sure to sand them in so they fit smoothly. So this first piece, you're going to take and add it to the top of the motor to make sure that the circle aligns. Then you're going to want to take your side pieces and fit them in. These can be a little tricky to get in, so make sure you utilize your sandpaper. Once those are in, you are going to want to put your motor on top, just like that. Next, take out your bigger circle piece and your four legs. This will be the main structural component for our solar system kit. Next, you're going to want to add each of your legs in one at a time, making sure they fit in well. You can also use your sandpaper for this if they're just not quite fitting in properly. After that, you're going to want to take your motor and the other component that we made previously and fit them in. You'll see that there are two notches just where it should go. Next, you want to take out this X looking piece, which will be connected to the bottom of our four legs. Make sure that the triangle part near the bottom is covering the motor so that there is space for a battery pack. This can also be a little tricky, so always remember that you have your sandpaper to use. Once that is all together, next you want to grab the outer ring of this other circle piece. With this outer ring, we are going to fit it on the outside, and you can see each knot will be used, each notch will be used for the gears. There are also square linings that, that which you want to align to your bigger piece. Now we'll put this to the side and grab our gears. So for the solar system kit, you'll have three gears and also this other larger pieces. First, you are going to want to fit in two of these smaller pieces. As you can see, one of them has a groove for one of them to go on top and one of them can stay underneath. You want to fit these in so that they are both flush. Next, you want to take the four prongs that are sticking out and add it to the larger gear. Once you have that all together, you can take your two other components that look similar, but this smaller one has a point on the edge for our styrofoam balls. Once you get that piece snug in, you want to add it to your smaller gear. Once that is finished, you want to take your component that looks like a triangle and has three places for the gears to go and put the one with the prong on the other side and along with the bigger gear as shown. Next, you want to bring back your bigger component and add the smallest gear right in the middle, and it should fit to the white plastic piece in the middle. Now you're going to want to open up your smaller Ziploc.
and grab this metal piece and put it into the center. Now you're going to grab two of these pieces with, which have little crosses on them and also your O-ring. So your O-ring is going to go into the top with the metal piece and the crosses will go on top of the gears. Make sure not to put on these components too tight as then your solar system will not spin properly. Then you will take this smaller piece and this is where the smallest planet will be fit, just like that. Next, take your component and thread it through the middle. Now we will take our little orange plastic piece and fit it through the middle. Again, you want to make sure you do not add this piece too tight as your solar system will not spin. Now attach your three styrofoam balls as shown. The bigger one in the middle, the second one in the middle of the smaller gear, and the third one on the side. Here's a 360 view of what your solar system should look like so far. Now time for the wiring. Grab your battery pack and twist off each end. And wire them to the prongs on the motor as shown. For this part, you want to make sure that you twist your wires in place so that they do not come undone. Finally, add your batteries. Then flip your battery pack and add two pieces of double-sided tape. This is where you then want to attach it to the bottom. Make sure you have enough room for your switch to move freely. And there you have it, your solar system kit.